all right what's good y'all so i'm about to break down the sample right now it has three sections in it so i'm gonna walk you through the patterns the effects and the presets and my thought process so let's get straight to it Alright, so here's the FOP, there's three sections in it, like I just said, and I start off with this pattern right here. And then it loops. So I start off with Omnisphere, and I went to the Celeste Memories inside of the Unclean Machine Bank right here. And uh, the original found something like this right here. It has all of these background noises, so I just took the B oscillator right here and turned it off. So now we only got this clean little bell right here. After that, here's the pattern I made with it. Very simple, so I'm gonna play it first without any effects and then show you the MIDI and the effects chain. Yeah, so I start off with the A sharp minor chord. After that, I just duplicated it over here and I tried to make another like variant of the, of the chord. So as you can see, it's the same note, but it just plays these two at first and then the C comes in later. So now it sounds like this. And after I had this little chord progression, I just added these notes up here, used the half steps, as you can see, C sharp to the C. So yeah, that's basically the whole MIDI. After that, I went in here, I loaded up a delay eternity. I automated the mix knob right here. And here's the automation. It's on in the beginning until the chord, the first chord stops, and then it kind of fades out right here until it's completely bypassed. And then it comes in at the second chord again. After that, I grabbed an EQ, boosted some higher frequencies, and reduced some of the lower mid frequencies. A sound shifter, just pitching down the sample to semitones. After that, I loaded up this dock cassette plugin right here. You know, I just messed around with it until I found something that I liked. Uh, the dock cassette made it kind of like muddy down here, so I just reduced some of the lower frequencies and boosted some of the highs again. After I had all of this, I just exported it to a new audio file. So the second sound after the bells from Omnisphere is this sound right here. It's just a very simple like sound like ear candy. And the VST is Analog Lab and I got this from HZE's Darkness uh, Bank right here. And the preset is Creeping Ghosts. And all I did was I was just following the ghost notes and made some chords at every other bar. Uh, for the effects, I just panned it a little bit to the left, turned up the stereo imaging, and I added an EQ, taking up the highs and the lows. After these two sounds, I loaded up a one-shot bass, and the bass is from Loner's uh, Synth Diaries one-shot or like multi-kit, and it's the troubled bass, and it sounds like this. And same thing with the analog lab chords, I just layered it with the root notes. So now that I had these three sounds, it sounded like kind of complete. I just wanted to add more air candy around the sample. So the first air candy pattern is this pattern right here. And the preset is from Analog Lab. And it's a lead by Mike Fuego. And it's from his Spectre Analog Lab bank right here. It sounds like this. And the last two sounds for the age section right here is two accents from a kit that I've been working on. And the kit should be out right now as, a, as you're watching the video. The kit is called Ethereal Echoes Sound Kit. It has accents in it, midis, one shots, and phrases. And here are two examples of two accents you could get from this kit. So the first one is this guitar. And the next one is this synthy, plucky effects type of accent. After I loaded up these two, the first section was complete. So here's what it sounds like. So that's the A part, let's move on to the B part over here. So the first thing I did, I took the main melody right here, that's just two bars, and I time stretched it just like this down here. So now instead of sounding like this, it sounds like this now.
I also pitched it down the whole octave, so that's why it's so dark and muddy. After that, I just brought back the Analog Lab Air Candy, brought back the bass, and I brought back the lead. So that's the lead from Analog Lab right here, and then I just duplicated that pattern. If you look at it here, we got the Analog Lab 2 right here, which is the lead. And then I duplicated it, kept it on the same mixer chain, and I made a new pattern around it. So if we highlight the ghost notes, this right here is the old lead, right here and right here. So these are still playing, but I made another pattern around them that sounds like this. And the whole B part sounds like this. And then the C section and the final section of the sample is just the original main melody right here with the accent and the bass line. And then after I had all these sounds, I just bounced it out. I added the stems at the end. And for the master effects, I added a DAW LP, a Valhalla vintage verb, and I cut off the low frequency so it doesn't affect the bass as much. And then a compressor as well, just to turn up, uh, turn up the sample and make it more even. So after the mastering effects, this is what the final product sounds like. That's pretty much it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Peace.